wondered where do race cars come from, this is the place. This is where race cars are born. Oh, this one got hit, yeah. huh? Okay. Let's see how it does after battle damage. <laughs> Not bad. Because the one from Chad wasn't going to come in in time. Oh, okay. first how many stocks and yeah. colors are bad at? Those are the Hey, that's not that bad. Get hit by a modified and have one chip. A little bit of a uh, interference fit there. This is brand new and it's bent now. Holy. So what's your first impression having seen this car in person now? It's alright. It's cheaper, it's gonna be cheaper to fix than I thought it would be. That's always a good thing, you know, a lot of guys out there are low budget, kinda of week to week. It's always nice to hear that things won't cost a million bucks to put back together. That's custom aerodynamics right there, provides <laughs> downforce. It's quite the process. When a car is broken and doesn't want to move out under its own power, it takes multiple people and uh, custom engineering. Back tire's not spinning at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did that stick? Yeah. Did that mic? Again? Okay. There we go. Good. Just stay there. Forward again. Yeah. Good. We're right there. We'll move her. Yeah. Okay. Get her. Man, would you check out that stance? <laughs> she is almost a foot to the right. All right, guys, I'm here with Fred at Ryland Racing. When a guy brings a car into you, what's the most common thing he wants you to look over or do for him? Mostly just a uh, complete nut and bolt and, the, you know, um, chassis adjustment and uh, scaling the car probably is the, the most most things that people bring them in for. Um, but there's, we do bodies and everything. So uh, usually it's some kind of repair. It ends up being some kind of repair like this one here. What's the most common component that you see broken? Good question. Something in the upper uh, front suspension usually is the uh, main thing that breaks up the control arms. 
I know that uh, Eric and I, we dealt with a, uh, a ball joint earlier this season once already. We fought with that guy. Well, he did most of the fighting, but it's on there now. These, these tubes like these and these cars, they usually end up breaking. These swedge tubes right here will break. So we run a all welded upper ball joint holder and it'll bend and usually won't break. Saves a shock, that breaks. Without any kind of a major wreck in a season, what do you think the average cost of running one of these cars in this class is over a season? Depends how many races somebody's going to do. Someone that wants to just race a local track and not even race for points, just race every couple weeks when they can. Yeah. A lot different, but if you're going to race um, like myself and race maybe for a track championship, you're going to have, you know, 30 to 50 races in. And, yeah. you know, you're going to spend, depends on how well you keep your car and all that and how nice you want your stuff, but anyway, you know, five to five to $15,000 probably. Do you mind if I walk the cars in the shop? Not at all. This is like the first time I've actually gotten a camera at a race shop. This is cool for me. It's like new territory. If you're a car person, you can't not like this. I mean, this is so cool. Is that an aluminum piece? This is steel, that's steel. All steel on IMCA. Wow. Yep. That bar, that bar. 20 bucks, 20 bucks, 60, 80. Just a guess. Um, Anaheim, 100. And a bar over there. So, $300 yeah. in parts maybe. And Ooh, the shock's bent on that one over there. What was that, a 26 series QA1? I have no clue what I ever call had in this thing. I think that's what it is. We have the parts for that. If it's a shaft and not the glands, not too bad. All right, guys, well, it looks like we're going to leave the car out here at Ryland Racing today. It's been an interesting uh, turn of events as far as finding out what's been wrong with the car and what's required to fix it. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this kind of different change of pace kind of a video. All right, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next time.